You just hired a new employee and need to get them set up in Procast. Let's take a look at the steps to get them invited into the system with the correct level of access. The onboarding process is going to be a seven video series. Depending on the level of access the employee requires, you may only need to complete three or four of these steps. Here's the breakdown for setting up an employee. Step one, personnel record. All users accessing the system will need a personnel record. This is a requirement for employees, consultants, 1099s, subcontractors, etc., which is covered in this video. Step two, access levels. Access levels are broken into four options. Timesheet, expense report, and management access are all included in the standard user licensing. This means that all three are covered in the price you pay for each employee and do not cost extra. Providing access for each module is broken down into individual videos on this playlist so you can review which functions are appropriate for each person. Accounting access is separate from the standard user and is priced accordingly. You may hear this referenced as a power user because it can be provided access to all the menus of the system if needed. However, you can also limit which menus an accounting user can see which will be covered in the menu and data security sections of that video. Step three, invitation process. Once a user's access levels have been established, they can be invited into the system. These three steps complete the onboarding process. The final video wrapping up this playlist covers what to do when an employee is terminated and system access needs to be removed. Let's take a look at the first step of the onboarding process, creating a personnel record. Step one, personnel record. Personnel records can be found by navigating to accounting, personnel, personnel. All of the menus listed here will be useful with the onboarding process. As mentioned previously, all users accessing the system will need a personnel record. To create a new record, select the insert button in the upper left hand corner. Our recommendation for creating a record is to start the code with a one if you are onboarding an employee and seven if you are onboarding a non-employee. Then follow your last created record in sequence so that the numbers go in order. This keeps employees separated from non-employees. If you are implementing for the first time, it may be beneficial to map your personnel records to that of your payroll provider. However, if you are unable to do so using our convention, we have a separate area under the Personnel Info tab to convert the codes. Next, complete the following tabs. Contact Info is where you want to store all information related to contacting your employee, such as their name, address, phone number, email, and so on. Personnel info is broken into five subsections. Position info is where you will store default job information, such as the user's default labor category, their position, type of employment, etc. Salary and wage info is where you will store the pay information to ensure the system does an appropriate labor calculation when you go to process payroll. Paid leave accrual is where you will establish how many hours your employee will accrue for PTO, vacation, or sick time each period. Check out our PTO training series for instructions on how to implement PTO and PROCAS. Payroll info is where you can store specific information related to exporting data out of PROCAS for your payroll provider. As mentioned previously, you can use external code here to link up employee IDs so that your process is in sync. Security info can be used as you wish to designate which employees have security clearances. If you want specific definitions for each of these fields, select the help menu in the upper right hand corner of the form. If you are unable to find a default code to enter on an employee's record, you can check to see if it was created under Setup Personnel.
Dates is where you can store historical information related to the user's time with your organization. This can range from review dates to bonus dates to even their birthday. Once completed, save the record. If you are onboarding employees or 1099s in batch, you can utilize our import function to automatically create records in our system. We have a downloadable Excel template under the Resources menu titled Data Import Templates that can be completed and imported into the software to save you time. Instructions can be found right above the downloadable file. Now that we have created personnel records, follow along in the video series to learn how to establish access to different modules for your users in Procast.